Hello everyone, welcome to Art 101. We're going to be uh, talking about oil pastels and sharing some techniques that go along with it. I'm using a 10 by 10 inch piece of gray construction paper for this project. And I'm drawing a one and a half inch border around the perimeter of the paper. If your students are having trouble keeping the ruler straight, add a little loop of masking tape to the back and that should hold it down. Today I'll be drawing an apple but by no means is this a how to draw an apple video. It's basically using it as an example uh, to show the techniques in oil pastel and how you can apply these to your own drawing. Now you want your students to be creative with the things they draw, but you still want them to have some reference ideas or photos or objects to draw from. It's important just to be able to keep their proportions right and uh, to draw what you see is a very important concept here. So you can see up in the right hand corner I have my reference Apple photo that I'm going by. I'm not sticking to it precisely, I'm just using it as a guide to, to keep things in proportion and, and looking the way I want them to look. I'm taking a permanent marker here to outline all my pencil lines. Uh, you don't have to use a permanent marker, you could use a water based marker, it should work just fine. Now one of the things I recommend teachers doing, especially with elementary uh, age students, is um, removing the black oil pastel from the box uh, and don't allow them to use that just because it can get them into trouble. Uh, they tend to like to use it a lot and it, it, when it blends with other colors it can make a little bit of a mess. So um, let them start off by using the marker for the black. So basically with oil pastels uh, it's very important to layer your colors. So I'm starting off with a yellow foundation for my apple here. Even though my apple's not yellow, it's going to be red. I'm starting off with, with yellow. There are touches of green, so I'm adding that as well. Once I have the yellow and green down, I'm layering a, a coat of orange on top of the yellow. And then on top of that, we go with red. So we're, you can see how we're layering these colors, about four different colors on top of each other. It's going to make a more rich, a more uh, a deep uh, color in the long run. And after I have my red down, I'm taking the yellow again and I'm, I'm using that yellow, that lighter color, to blend all the other colors together. That's when this uh, oil pastel will start looking like a oil painting. It starts getting real slippery and gets you that painterly look. Um, remembering to stay away from that black oil pastel. I'm adding a darker value around the outside of my apple to create a three-dimensional look. To do this without using black, I'm using the complement complementary color of red, which is green. Basic rule of thumb is to decrease the intensity of a color at its complement. So I've used around four colors to layer this um, apple drawing and uh, I'm, I'm using the lighter of all those colors, the lightest of the colors, to blend in um, and get rid of any hard lines that I want to soften up. In this case, it's yellow, so I'm taking that yellow and, and pressing down a little bit hard. Don't be afraid to press down. Uh, you'll, you'll get that uh, smooth, um, slippery feeling on the paper, and that's what you want to give it that painterly feel and look. Um, it's important to keep your oil pastels clean, so make sure your students are wiping them off with a paper towel or a piece of paper every now and then to keep their color pure. Moving on to the, to the leaf. We're again using yellow as our foundation um, and then coming on uh, with some two different shades of green. This particular box of oil pastel has a lighter green and a darker green. So we uh, covered the yellow with the lighter green first and then outlined the veins and the outer uh, perimeter of the leaf with the darker green. And then coming back and using the yellow to blend in. So we're doing the same with the stem and creating a little bit of a shadowed look. Now we can also use, since we're using green, we'll go in the reverse to decrease the intensity of the green, we'll use red to add some shadow and darkened areas. Now we're still not using black, um, just because when we blend and we use black, the black t uh, tends to muddy the color. So moving on to the other apple, same technique, same layering of colors from yellow to orange to red and then using the green as a, um, as a, a darker value to create depth. We're going to be moving on to the fleshy part of the apple which will be primarily white. You want to make sure that's clean before you start adding that down. Um, just, a, just a clean coat, very light. We're not pressing too hard to start off with. 
and then we will go over with um, with some yellow this apple uh, the flesh of the apple is going to be a little bit of an off-white so we'll add yellow to create that and then a little bit of brown um, around the outside now we're limited to the amount of colors from this box but you can pretty much create anything with this box you don't need a 24 jumbo pack of uh, oil pastels to, to create it. It would be nice and you can do some fun things with it, but it's not necessary. So continuing to work the, the white part of the apple, I'm gonna, um, gonna add the seeds here in a minute. Um, you wanna make sure, to, you know, you're gonna get to a point when you're using oil pastels, you're gonna need to peel the paper off. So you wanna guide your students with that and show them that you don't want to take all the paper off at one time. Try to peel just a piece of it so you can still have a, part, a portion to hold on to. And that'll help keep their hands clean. So putting back the seeds here using green and a little bit of red. Um, I finish off with a, with a little bit of a marker. The permanent marker will sometimes adhere to the oil pastels. Not always, but it did in this case. Just enough to kind of darken up some of the area. At the end of the project, we will come back with the black oil pastel and do some very fine little uh, highlights, or not highlights, but uh, shadows of the, of the dark We're using the black um, after we're done blending all our colors. So I'm going back now using the white, using the white oil pastel to get highlights, highlights on the apple, little uh, reflections uh, there to just once again create that three-dimensional look keeping it clean. Now I'm, I'm filling in the back square area, the background, with white first. This is going to be a blue background, but I'm using the white just to brighten it up a little bit, almost as a primer, um, to, just to cover that gray paper. Now I'm coming over with my uh, light blue and filling that area right on top of the white. Still not pressing down too hard, so you can still see the paper underneath. Now that may be a texture that you like, and that, and that would be fine. Just to vary the texture a little bit, uh, to, to, to leave that. I'm coming in with the darker blue and, and just kind of pressing a little bit harder to add uh, um, a little bit of depth there. And I'm doing the same process on the border. Now notice how the apple sticks out of the border. It's important to have your object um, not just stuck in the middle there. So on purpose, we, we drew this so the apple is actually sticking out of the border to, just to create a little more interesting uh, composition. I'm using a scrap piece of paper here to uh, make sure all the edges are nice and covered with the oil pastel. It just keeps your table a little bit cleaner. So I'm coming across with the, with the darker blue color. And what I want to do with this color is I want to create a, a little bit of a violet glow around the inner border. So since this box of oil pastels did not come with violet, I'm going to use red, and I'm just going to put that right on top of the blue. And this would be a good time to, sh to talk to your students about color theory and how red and blue make violet, makes violet, and that you can create all these colors using the primary colors. So we're doing that, and, so, and to blend that together, I'll take the lighter blue, or maybe the darker blue, the darker blue, just to press on top of that and to blend in the, the, the red and the blue together just to kind of create that violet glow around the inner border. So as you can see, I'm taking the orange. There's, the, there's that complement trick to decrease the intensity. I'm using the complement of blue, which would be orange, just to give a little bit of a shadow there, putting a little cast shadow underneath the apples there as well. And now I'm taking my black. Since I'm done blending, I don't have to worry about things getting muddied up. I'm taking that black to do some final touches just to make things pop a little bit more. Um, don't outline your whole apple, though. Don't encourage your kids not to do that. Just little touches here and there just to make your image pop from the, from the paper. Visually pop is what I mean. So anyway. Um, doing some final touches here. I'm, I'm going to be showing you some other uh, uh, drawings that I, that I did using oil pastels. It, oil pastels can be used on cardboard. It can be used on wood. It can be, I've glued down newspaper, strips, st um, torn pieces of newspaper onto construction paper and then drawn on top of that um, construction paper as well. So um, there's the finished piece. And 
This is an, another apple, green apple on corrugated cardboard. You can actually see the corrugation there. Here's a hornbill. Uh, you can see the newspaper glued down behind. Just some different techniques, different ideas that you could uh, incorporate into your lesson and project with oil pastel. A lot of options here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, don't hesitate to post them in the comments below. Appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll see you soon.